It's Leo. Today, I am going to introduce multiplication to you. You know that I love apples, so my mom bought some apples for me. There are a lot of apples, so I don't want to count them. I am going to split them into equal groups. So here I have one group, two groups, and three groups. So I have three groups of six. Three sixes equals six plus six plus six equals eighteen. I also love lollipops. Mom said I can eat two lollipops per day. How many lollipops can I eat in a week? So, on Monday I can eat two lollipops. On Tuesday, I eat two lollipops, and then all the way to Sunday, added together equals fourteen. So seven times two equals fourteen. So multiplication is actually repeated addition. For example, here I have four times three, which is equal to three plus three plus three plus three equals twelve. And here I have four times five equals five plus five. Four fives added together equals twenty. Here I have twelve fishes. I can split them into four groups, and each with three fishes. So I have four groups of threes, which equals three plus three plus three plus three equals twelve. Another way is I still have twelve fishes, and I can split them into Three groups, and each with four fishes. So three groups of fours equals four plus four plus four equals twelve. And here's another example. I have six groups, each with two fishes. Six groups of twos. Equals two plus two plus two six twos equals twelve. So six times two equals twelve. And here's another example. I have two groups, each with six fishes. So I have two groups of six equals six plus six equals twelve. So two times six. Equals twelve. Here I have twelve groups, each with one fish. So I have twelve groups of ones. So I have one plus one, twelve ones added together equals twelve. So twelve times one equals twelve. And here I have one group. With twelve fishes, so one twelve equals twelve. So one times twelve equals twelve. So does the order really matter? So from the examples before, four times three equals twelve, and three times four again equals twelve. So let's picture this. So I have twelve fishes with four rows and three columns. So four times three equals twelve. And here I have the same group of fish, but I just rotated them. So I have three rows and four columns. So three times four still equals twelve. So the order does not matter.
If you like me, please subscribe, like, and share. Thanks for your support.